All right, introduction, disease detectives on the case. So tell me, where were you on the night of the murder? In movies or TV, when a detective asks this question, they narrow their eyes and lean in close to the suspect to see how they'll respond. The audience pays attention too. We know that question is a sign that the detective is close to cracking the case. Sure enough, the suspect starts squirming. Sweat breaks out on their forehead. Their eyes dart around in panic as they search their memory or try to come up with a good excuse. Unless the suspect has an airtight alibi, the detective announces, case closed. A few scenes later, we watch as a cell door slams shut, putting the criminal behind bars. As the credits roll, the detective heads off into the night to solve the next case and keep the public safe. Now take that detective out of their trench coat and fedora and put them into a lab coat. Instead of a gun, give them a microscope and a computer. This time, the assignment isn't to track down an escaped convict with a grudge or a deranged psychopath masquerading as a friendly neighbor or any of the, uh, any of the usual suspects. The murderer they're trying to identify is a microbe. This is a disease detective. Otherwise known as epidemiologists, these scientists are trained to solve medical mysteries and find the evidence needed to prevent the spread of disease and improve the public's health. Like police detectives, epidemiologists make a beeline for the scene of the crime when a disease first strikes to search for clues that reveal how the outbreak started how it is transmitted, what puts people at risk of getting sick, and how to stop or slow its spread. Just like the hard-boiled detectives in old movies, they talk to the victims, track down witnesses, ask lots of questions, sniff out facts that may have been overlooked, and then assemble their case. In addition to the tried and true detective techniques, they also take advantage of the latest technologies and use their scientific skills and know-how to understand how diseases spread and to protect our health. The investigation into an outbreak starts with the first patient who shows up at their doctor's office or local hospital with an illness. While epidemiologists call this first patient the index case, in the media and pop popular culture, this person is often referred to as patient zero. Spoiler alert, to find out how patient zero became a popular term for the first known case in an outbreak, flip to chapter seven. First, starting from this first case, epidemiologists trace the infection spread. They look for clues that help them understand the factors that contribute to the transmission of the disease.